Now, in the latest update in the war between Israel and Hamas, the militant group Hamas has been going on for more than the, the war has been going on now for more than three weeks. And now, as we approach towards the one month mark of the war, the war seems to be deepening between the two sides. On Sunday, Israel signaled intent to encircle Gaza's main city. They published pictures of battle tanks on the Palestinian enclave's western coast, 48 hours after ordering expanded ground incursions across its eastern border. Israel self-declared second phase of a three-week war against Hamas militants had initially been kept from public view, with forces moving under darkness and a telecommunication blackout cutting off Palestinians. But according to Gaza residents, the phone and internet cuts appeared to be easing on Sunday, and the loss of communication had severely hampered rescue operations for casualties of Israeli re wreaking destruction especially on northern Gaza city, which is believed to be the site of Hamas's government and command centers. Meanwhile, Hamas has said that its fighters were engaged in heavy fighting in Gaza, where Israel had escalated ground operations and has called multiply to deliver aid to the Palestinian territory after weeks of siege and bombardment. And as Israel continues to bomb Gaza, according to the health ministry in Hamas-ruled Gaza, over 8,000 Palestinians have been killed since the war broke out on 7th of October. It said on Sunday that the toll had risen to 8,005 Palestinians, including more than 3,300 minors and over 2,000 women. Meanwhile, on the other side of the region, according to Israeli officials, the fighting has killed more than 1,400 people in Israel, mostly civilians, who died in the initial Hamas attack. Now, moreover, since the initial attack by Hamas, the escalation has ratcheted up domestic pressure on Israel's government to secure the release of some 230 hostages. And so far, only four hostages have been released by the militant group Hamas. Adko, Masar no Dal and Mishpachotem, Shel Shloshmod, Vahadasar, Hayale, Tsal, Umatim, Shloshim, Vetisha Hatufim. אני רוצה להסביר את המספר הזה. זה מספר לא נתפס, 239 חטופים. בקרב החטופים יש אזרחים עובדים זרים, מספר לא קטן שלהם, שזהותם והגעה למשפחות שלהם מורכבת עבורנו. לוקח לנו זמן לבנות את התמונה הזאת, ומכאן... World leaders have underlined the urgency of increasing aid into the Hamas-controlled territory. Union chief Antonio Guterres has said that the situation was growing more desperate by the hour as casualties increase and essential supplies of food, water, medicine and shelter dwindle. Now, according to the Palestinian Red Crescent Society, Israel is repeatedly bombing around Al-Quds Hospital in central Gaza, causing damage and putting civilians at risk. Meanwhile, protesters worldwide have rallied for a ceasefire after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu steeled his nation for a long and difficult war. But despite calls for a humanitarian truce, international outrage and the potential risk to hostages held in Gaza still remain. Israel has intensified the war triggered by Hamas's unprecedented attack. 